Oh, you see, this is where we start getting problems. Hey, hey, on today's episode here, we're gonna fire some SKS rounds. A lot of them, 762 by 39. And this is Benoit here. So this, this episode is actually sponsored by Can Armor. Okay, so we're gonna use here their uh, their level four AR500 plates here, and we're gonna shoot the crap out of them. Okay, and this is gonna be interesting. So this is an endurance test here with some uh, some FMJ there. Okay, so they're gonna be armor piercing rounds here. I don't know. I think it's I think we can at least fire 50 before it starts to crack or something. I'm not really sure here how tough these can armor plates are actually. And uh, yeah, legitimate company name there is Canadian Armor Limited, but they just go by can armor, okay? So look them up on their website. There's gonna be a link down below here if you guys wanna order some of these plates after you see the longevity of these made in Canada plates, okay? Enough talking, let's go shoot the piss out of them. Hey guys, so we got these FMJs here. Okay, these are cheap Chinese round, but they're armor piercing, right? So they're gonna pack a punch. Now we got 75 rounds here on the table, okay? If we can't get a crack in that plate with 75 rounds, I'm gonna be amazed. But anyways, enough talking here. Let's start shooting. Cold, cold out here for a Canadian. Wow, I gotta get me some nice gloves here. Cause you know what, to reload this ammo here, it is freezing out here, man. But that's okay, you know what, we're tough. We're rednecks. Okay, so that's 25 already. Now let's do another another 25 rounds here, and then we'll go check our plate and see how it's panning out. But uh, yeah, so far it doesn't look deformed or nothing from here. Certainly it's not in two pieces. It's hanging on pretty good, this level four stuff here. Another mag. They're dead. You're gonna love these Capco magazines. Okay, these are made in the United States, I believe. And uh, I just love them. I love these Capco mags here. I would recommend if you guys have an SKS at home, you want to up your game here, get yourself, you know, treat yourself to a nice Tapco magazine. You ain't gonna regret it. Five rounds, eh? It was pretty easy to 
fire a bunch of rounds there with your semi-autos. The hard part though is hitting the target every time. Okay, that's five rounds already. Get quick at this, eh? Practice. So let's go have a look at the damage, guys. Okay, guys. Woo! Hey, 50 rounds already. That went by quickly. But uh, no, there's only these just little divots in there. This stuff is really, really impressive. It's I, I can't believe it to be honest with you. I mean, 50 rounds of these armor-piercing uh, 762 by 39, man. That's wow. That's pretty impressive. Well, we still got a 25 round. Um, little bundle left so let's go fire that off and I mean if with ease it, it could easily shoot a hundred with ease you, you, you could you could just shoot all day long on this thing man it doesn't look like it wants to budge at all so I'm very impressed but yeah let's go fire off the rest of those rounds and uh, that's it for my budget today okay you betcha Is that the mag or the gun? That's just the bullets there that are... where we start getting problems. thing about winter shooting is your barrel doesn't get as hot. You know, I could feel a little bit here, but if this was the summer, man, it would be boiling. I'd have to stop, you know, I'd never shoot 70 rounds like that in the summer. Okay, that's that. Let's get this puppy going. Keep in mind, 
this is conducted here at uh, 50 yards. So, here we go. Let's have a look at the result, guys. All right, eh? I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed here. Thoroughly impressed with this plate. I mean, it just, it just took the damage, the damage, and the damage, guys. And keep in mind, it is like minus 20 out here. It's really, really cold, okay? And steel, you know, under cold temperatures, it does weaken them. But this here, this product here from Can Armor is just so impressive. Check out here the uh, slight deformation. Okay, you see the slight deformation here, guys? Keep in mind that in a previous video, it has to do with this here. We shot a 30 out six there with some hollow point inside of it. So as far as the 762 by 39 goes, the, the FMJs there, the armor piercing, it, there's no deformation. This is exactly how it was before the 75 rounds. Really impressed. I recommend this product here 100% guys. Well, actually, that's what I'm carrying right here. So yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell if you like videos like this. And absolutely do not forget to check down the link below for Can Armor's website where you guys can purchase your, your ballistic plate here. Thank you very much. Have a good day.